So it's freshman year. I'm sitting down with my family in a restaurant. It's probably a Friday night. I'm with just my parents. My brother and my sister are off doing something else. And we're one of the first families at the restaurant. We order, get our food quickly. And the conversation during the meal, I remember, was about school. We were talking about my teachers, how school was going. And then the topic of my YouTube channel came up. And I had this urge, this feeling. I was sitting there and I just felt like I had to say something. Because for a long time, I had been watching videos on entrepreneurship and how YouTube can turn into a career. And I knew deep down, that's what I wanted. I had given it a lot of thought. I knew that college probably wasn't going to be for me. I saw the future where I was making content for a living, where I was happy just making videos and doing what I love to do. So I'm sitting at the dinner table, we're done eating, and I feel like I have to talk about this. But I'm scared to do it. I'm scared of what my parents will say about what they'll think. And finally, after minutes of sitting there and thinking about it, I told them college might not be for me. I didn't really say that I didn't want to go to college, that I was going to make YouTube into my career. I just said, maybe not going to college can be a valid option and just like I thought it would it got shot down instantly and I remember my mom saying that I had to go to college that there's no other way and what I more specifically remember is sitting there looking at my dad and him telling me that I might think I know so much right now that I have it all figured out that even though I'm so set on this lifestyle and this idea I haven't lived life long enough to know what is right for me and so I get quiet I'm sitting there drinking my water, trying to hold back the tears. And they probably noticed it, but I didn't want them to know that what they said really affected me. What it basically felt like, even though I didn't say it, even though I didn't say I want to be a YouTuber when I grow up, what it felt like was them saying, you have no idea what you're talking about and you have no idea what you're doing. Do you really think you're gonna become a YouTuber? And over the past year, I've had that conversation many times over and over. Every single time I talk about it, every single time I bring it up to my mom, to my dad, it just feels like I'm not really understood. Your whole life you're told that college is the only way, that middle school prepares you for high school, high school prepares you for college, and college prepares you for life. I don't know if I'm the first person to tell you this, but you don't have to go to college. You don't have to get a regular job and you do not, you definitely do not need a degree in today's day and age to get a job that is able to sustain you. Because let's be completely honest, college has never been a worse decision than right now. It's insanely competitive. To get into a good college, you need to pay loads and loads of money. You spend four years buying textbooks, learning stuff that you could already find online, and then you end up with a piece of paper so that you can go work a low level job and work your way up for the rest of your life. I grew up for so long thinking that when I would get to high school, I would start doing what my brother did. I would start grinding grinding for school, I would start volunteering all the time and doing all these things just so that I can put it on my college applications and get into college. And you've probably lived your entire life thinking like this too. That this was sort of predestined, this is just what everybody does. And honestly, I know this to be fact. No matter what anybody else tells you, no matter what your parents tell you, you can become more successful, make more money, and learn more in four years. In the four years that everybody else is going to college, you will have created the life that you wanted for yourself. There has never been a time like this before where we have, as teenagers, so many opportunities, infinite amounts of opportunities to capitalize off of. What I truly believe is that if you are a hard worker and you know you can achieve big things, then college is an absolutely stupid decision for you. The topic of the social life in college is a whole nother matter. What I'm talking about right now is your career, your life path, what you want to do with your life. Because let's think about this right now. How many people that go to college actually know what they want to do? How many of them know when they're going to college what major they're going to pick? Because you've probably heard people being asked, what do you want to do when you go to college? What career do you want to have? And every single time, 99% of the time, the person just says, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe something to do with science. Maybe something to do with math. They literally have no clue because school doesn't set you up to do something that you actually love. It covers this base general education that most kids don't actually love doing. Most kids are going to be like, yeah, hell yeah, I love calculus. I'm going to become like a rocket scientist. And what I am telling you, I don't know if you think this sounds stupid, this sounds dumb, it sounds ignorant. You can build something out of something you actually love for way less money than going to college, and you will in the end make so much more money than if you went to college. And that is because of the opportunities that we have now, even at such a young age, through the internet, through online business and entrepreneurship. We have options that nobody else has had before. And this is what parents don't understand, is that you in four years, if you worked hard enough, could create a business that in one or two years makes more than you would have ever made 30 years after college, four years of dedication and commitment and going all in on a business. If you were to do that, you would, I swear, make more money in one to two years than you would in 30 years of working your way up the ladder in some corporate job. And again, I know how biased this sounds coming from like a dumb teenager who doesn't really know what he's talking about, but college is the biggest 
peer pressure system there ever is. Everybody is doing it. Everybody's asking you, where are you going to college? If you were to not go to college, people would probably look at you weird and be like, what are you doing? Do you just want to be a failure, be a bum on the street? You're never going to be able to get a real job without a degree. The point I'm trying to make with this video is that you don't need a real job. And the fact is, it's becoming harder and harder to sustain a good life with a real job. Because real jobs don't pay the money to bring you financial freedom, true financial freedom. Fuck you money. Where you don't have to do certain things because you have enough money to not do them. You don't have to play the game that everybody else is playing if you decide to play the game of business. The game of growing an audience, a personal brand. Because I'm speaking to a select group of people here. A group of people who understand what I'm talking about. Who have that feeling like, I know I could build something on my own. I know that I'm creative, that I, I like doing things that aren't just sitting in a classroom and doing homework, and that all these subjects that were being taught in school, that's just not for me. I love music and creating content or some other creative form. Everyone is telling you what to do. Everyone is telling you that you should do this. Your parents are telling you to go to college. And yes, most of these people want the best for you, but you always have to listen to yourself. Over everybody else, you have to listen to your gut. What is your gut telling you? Because the fact, the fact is, entrepreneurship, online business, personal brand is the opportunity that everybody is missing out on right now because they're all getting peer pressured to go to college, right? I'm talking to the people here that know that they can work really hard, that they have some sort of passion that's not in school, that's not biology or science or whatever, that you want to build something for yourself. In three, four years, you could be making double, triple the teacher's salary that is telling you you have to go to college, that you're gonna be a failure if you don't go to college. I really don't think people understand how big this opportunity is. Everybody can do this. Everybody can grow a personal brand, post content onto social media about what they love doing it literally there's there's an audience for everything you can create a business about anything you do not win by doing what everyone else is doing this thing this one thing I know for sure you don't win by going with the majority you don't get rich by going with the majority because the majority of people the average person is not rich they're not happy they don't like their job do you want to be like all of them the average person the average teenager is going to college with no idea in their head what they want to do when they get there they have no idea what their major is gonna be they just think they'll decide when they get there and their whole life will pan out for them no that's not how it works. You have to plan your life out for yourself. If you don't know what you want to do when you go to college and you're just planning on going and being, oh, I'll get a good job eventually and I'll live, I'll live fine, I'll have a family. That's not how it works anymore. Things are becoming increasingly and increasingly harder when you go to college and it's very competitive. It's much harder to sustain a family, to buy a house, to do all these things because everything's getting more expensive. And if you still think I'm stupid and don't know what I'm talking about, click off this video. You do not have to go to college, okay, no matter what everybody says. This is the message I'm trying to get out there. I'm not telling you to not go to college. You have to figure that out for yourself. Know who you are. Feel in your gut what is right for you. But I'm giving you the message that I received a couple years ago. And it's that entrepreneurship, this opportunity that we have as teenagers to already be making money and building something is the other option that we have besides going to college. Because I just assumed college is what everyone does. It's, it's the only thing that I can do. It's the only thing that I'm going to do. And you've probably believed that too and it's just not true. It's not the only option. That is what I'm trying to get across to you. Everybody is going to college. Everybody is getting a degree. But nearly nobody is capitalizing off the fact that we have some of the greatest opportunities that any teenager in the history of the world has ever had. You don't get extreme results when you follow the masses. You don't achieve huge goals and become wealthy and do amazing things when you follow the masses. It's the general truth that has always existed. When you follow the crowd and when you follow the majority, you aren't going to get different results than the majority. There are many things you have to question in this life and this is one of them. You have to question, is this really the best option for me? I know everyone says it, but really think about it, critically think, is this really the best option for you? They'll tell you that you're not gonna make it, that it's too risky, that starting an online business, doing all this stuff is too risky. And while I would say it's not even that risky, would you rather live a life where you took no risk, where you did what everyone else was doing, where you just did the regular thing, went to college, got your degree, worked your way up the job. If you're okay with that, if you're okay with doing that and not taking any risk and just being like everybody else, go to college, go to college. But if you're not that person, if you're looking at me and thinking, I'm not trying to be average, I don't want to be average, I don't want to be like everyone else. I actually want to achieve something big with my life. I want to become rich. I want to become wealthy. I have the car. If you have that mindset, then wouldn't you rather take the risks? I know you would rather take the risks. You don't want to live the average regular life. You want to take risks, do things that other people aren't doing, and prove them wrong. I would much rather chase big goals that are actually achievable. They're not just dreams. These things aren't just dreams anymore. When you put in the work, when you go hard at something, when you grind away at it for years and years and years, you will become successful in it. And we have the opportunity to do those things right now. 
I want to open your eyes up to this possibility of something different because even though everyone is telling you to do this you don't have to there is there is another way do you want to go through your life knowing that you could have done more knowing that you could have done things differently do you want to live your entire life and then on your deathbed think I regret not doing that I regret not chasing that goal if you don't want that to happen to you you have to take the risks you have to do what nobody else is doing you have to reject what everybody else is telling you and do what you know you should be doing because what I know is that I would rather live the life where I took the risks where I went for it where I chased big goals where I lived a purposeful meaningful life and I improved myself constantly and even in the end if I still didn't reach my goals if I still technically failed it wouldn't have mattered because I did what I wanted to and I would have no regrets. I hope you understand now that you don't have to go to college. No matter what your Asian parents are telling you, that you have to become a doctor and do all these things and, and go to freaking UCLA or Stanford, you don't have to do that, okay? There is the separate path and I hope I've showed you that. Never stop improving. You'll be grateful for it later.